WFNN. Headline news update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida. It's Tuesday, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, 30 minutes in the trading day. Kicking off earnings season with the banks. We got J.P. Morgan crushing it with bond trading revenue today. City beating as well. Wells Fargo pulling back Delta with their earnings as well. And how about Tesla opening at almost $550 as they near a market cap of $100 billion. We'll start things off. We're going to jump over to the VIX this morning. As you expect, right now we have markets slightly negative territory. VIX trading at 1248 we're looking at a Dow negative by 20 points at 28,886. S&P is negative by seven points at 3,280. And NASDAQ negative by 41 points. We'll jump over to the charts. We'll start it off with the Dow. 28,868 currently in the Dow. You see the dip overnight. Lows made at about 3.30 a.m. Eastern time in the Dow. That level, 28,739. S&P 500, we're trading at 3,281. We were down at a low at about 3.30 as well of 3,275. Excuse me, crude oil market, a little bit of volatility overnight from about 3.30. We trade from 57.84. We trade up almost a solid dollar to 58.70. From there, we've backed off a bit. You have February crude trading at 58.14. There's your gold contract trading at 15.45, dipped to a low of about 15.36 overnight. And the euro US dollar trading at 111.21. As I mentioned it, earnings season in full swing and some big numbers posted by JP Morgan as they crush analyst estimates as bond trading revenue surges by nearly 90%. That bond trading revenue surging 86% to 3.4 billion. The expectation was 2.6 billion. That's an extra $800 million in about 90 days just on their fixed income trading desk. City earnings beating expectations on 49% fixed income trading surge as well. You have Wells Fargo shares pulling back as their profits drop 50%. They're dealing with a plethora of woes. And we get U.S. consumer price indexes today as well. That coming in at 0.2%. And as we wrap this up, J.P. Morgan shares right now up about 1.8%. Citi up 1.8% as well. And Wells Fargo on the flip side down 3.6%. And we'll wrap it up with Tesla reaching a high of 547. Stay tuned, folks. Come back at 10 o'clock with Tom. Live programming all day at TFNN. We'll be right back.